Welcome to another unboxing video, and uh, this time I'm going to be unboxing a Mayono Premium USB Microphone. We already unboxed his little brother, the Fairy Light. This is the full fairy, uh, so stay tuned, and if you're curious about that Fairy Light, go check out that video. I'll have it linked in the description, but now it's time to test out the big professional one, so stick around. Let's get into it. So full disclosure, I did receive this free from Mayono. They uh, sent it to me. If you want to know a little bit more about my relationship with them, I cover it in the review that I did for the little brother version of this, the Fairy Light. Uh, but basically they sent me this free sample. Um, no requirement for me to do a review. They just sent me a free one, which was very nice of them. But I felt that for you, I would do an unboxing and testing of this microphone in case this might just be the solution you're looking for to improve your audio. Audio is so important in YouTube videos. Studies show time and time again that one of the top reasons someone will click off a video is bad audio. So show respect for your content and your audience and do what you can to make sure that your audio is as good as possible. And that might be buying this microphone or some of the other ones we've reviewed on this channel. You can go check those out. I am currently using a blue snowball to record this because I haven't unboxed this one yet. Uh, and what I'm going to do I'm going to unbox it, and then I'm going to do a test phrase recorded on my Snowball, the Canon camcorder I'm using to record the video, and this microphone, and then I want you, dear viewer, to be the judge of which of the three sounds best. So let me know in the comments which sounds best, but first off, let's go with the unboxing. Uh, so this is a little bit taller than the Fairy Light, so I think it's going to be a bit of a bigger, more substantial microphone. It's a tiny bit heavier, but not a lot. I still feel that it's maybe a little lighter than the Blue Snowball, and and I run a travel channel and travel podcast that records on location, so I am always packing microphones with me wherever I go. If I can find one that's lighter or smaller but still gets very rich audio, that is a huge win for me and the luggage that I lug all over the world, whether it's the Caribbean, Europe... Uh, Vegas, what have you. Uh, so I'm always looking for a nice, uh, lightweight, high-quality microphone. Hopefully this will be one. So on the front it says premium USB microphone. So the word premium did not appear on the fairy light, so I think this is a little bit uh, better model as a result. It says a multifunctional vocal studio in your pocket. In your... They can't fit in my pocket. What kind, of, what, kind of, what kind of a pocket do you have this size? That's weird. That is... I mean, don't get me wrong. Mayono makes really good products, but in your pocket like they make a lav mic that's like this rechargeable condenser lav mic that you can take with you that'll fit in your pocket i i don't if, if you have pockets this big uh i i don't know how to finish that sentence so let's move on uh so and again on the side here a multi-functional vocal studio in your pocket no maybe they mean in your corner like it's on your side i don't in your pocket i don't make sense Fairy is a multifunctional USB Type-C condenser microphone for voice, gaming, and instruments designed by Mayono. And I don't know if I'm saying that name correctly. I hope I am. They haven't corrected me yet on my previous review. Um, and so this is interesting because uh, the light talked about voice, but it didn't really talk about gaming or instruments. So if you're recording playing a guitar, for example, or a flute or whatever, uh, uh, you know, a bassoon, uh, whatever you might be recording sound with for your channel or whatever else you might be doing, making music, this will probably be a better option than the light and maybe the snowball because those are really focused on vocal sounds. Like I have a pop filter on my... Uh, on my snowball, for example, I don't know that this requires one. So, okay, that's that's interesting. And it does say Type C. I suspect it's going to be like the fairy light, where you plug into the microphone in Type C, but into the device with a regular USB connection. But we'll check that out as part of the unboxing. Fairy delivers crisp studio quality sound with built-in dual mics to your PC, Mac, and Type-C mobile phones. Oh, interesting. It might be Type-C on both sides. The light did not talk about connecting to mobile. So there are a lot of creators out there who do everything on mobile, and they still want superior sound. So this might be a good option. My Snowball is a USB, regular USB. Can't really plug that into a phone. Same for the Fairy Light. This could be a little bit different. That's interesting. Maybe that's what they mean by in your pocket, even though the microphone will never fit in your pocket. <laughs> Challenge. <laughs> Uh, it can easily switch the polar pattern from omnidirectional to unidirectional, which gives you better choice for different user scenario. 
and the flexible stand can be installed with the boom arm for the studio gaming voiceover or put in the pocket just to go. No, you can't put this. In, don't put this in your pocket. I don't care if this comes out tiny. If it does, that's kind of ridiculous and amazing. Um, but don't put this in your pocket. <laughs> don't disrespect your microphone by putting it in your pocket. Not this kind of a microphone. Come on, guys. Um, so polar pattern, omnidirection, and cardioid. USB-C plug and play, but again, the picture is USB-C on one side, standard USB on the other. So I'm not sure that this will connect great to a phone, but who knows? Uh, it's got the um, the 3.5 millimeter uh, jack for output. So again, that's also probably for live listening on headphones. Uh, table stand included, easy to set up. If the fairy light was any indication, that's probably true. Compatible with Windows and Mac OS, and it has eight different points that it makes on the back that it. Uh, you know, there's, there's little things here, but they're not numbered. Uh, so it has microphone capsules, unique designed dual capsule circuitry focuses your voice or instrument with minimizing the sound of the room, which is nice. So that means you might not need to do noise reduction. Like I often have to do with my blue snowball. So that could save you some work on the, on the back end, on the production end. Microphone gain, turn the knob right to increase the gain left to reduce gain. Microphone muting. Press the knob to mute, unmute. When muted, the LED status light will turn red, which is very similar to the fairy light. Uh, headphone volume. Turn the knob to the right to increase, left to reduce. Yeah. Dual model switch for omnidirectional and cardioid. Uh, switch up and down. Easy to achieve different mode. Headphone jack. Universal 3.5 millimeter jack for voice monitor and audio output. USB Type-C. High speed audio data transmission. That's interesting. Because the thing is, um, the amount of information that's recorded in sound, it's not really enormous in, like, the modern era. Uh, the human ear can hear something up to the range of about 196 kbps, uh, and a lot of podcasts only recorded, like, 96 kbps, uh, and, but there's a lot of things that record at, like, 320, but even that, as, in terms of data, like, that's not a huge put-through, so, um, it's interesting that they talk about it. I don't know how big of an issue that truly is, especially when you're just talking about a couple of channels, so, like, it's still less data than you would get on, like, SD video, for example. Uh, so I don't know that um, people have, like, transmission issues and lag and, and stuff like that with their microphones. So they might be kind of addressing a problem that doesn't exist there. I'm not sure. Multipurpose stand. Easy for microphone posture adjust. My posture is trash when I film these. Try to keep everything in frame. A little bit of the table so I can put things down and you still see my face. Um, so do not have a posture like I have right now hunched over it for my review. Um, stand base heavy and shock absorption makes microphones, uh, work stable. So, okay. That's, that's pretty good. Um, I like that shock absorption because I have on my podcast recorded with people who like to touch the table, <laughs> touching the table. It's like nervous energy or maybe they're moving something around or whatever. And so like anything that can absorb that sound, uh, I would appreciate for what I'm recording with the people who like to touch the table. Don't touch the table. Don't touch the microphone when you're recording. All right, well, I really str oh, thank God. I really struggled with the fairy light to get that box open. I had to rip that sucker apart. Look at this. Oh, slides right out. Now, this box is a tiny bit beaten up, and that's as much my fault as anything because I have been sitting on this. It's been in a pile of things I needed to review for like a year now. I'm finally getting to it. So uh, it has been sitting for a while, so like the little damage on the box, that was probably me, not them. <laughs> so full credit where credit is due. We'll blame where blame is due. So that's that sleeve there. That's kind of nice. Um, it's like a fine wine <laughs> or, or other alcohol that you might have come in a, in a nice box. Um, getting into the box though, uh, my track record as of the last review is not great. Oh, okay. Look at that. That opens smoothly. This packaging is so much better. Thank you. Thank you, Mayono, for doing a nicer job of that. Okay. Look at that. You can open it like that. That's very beautiful. There's that accessory bit. Um, and so we've got the user manual, which is probably going to be, again, similar to the fairy light. I won't go into too much detail. Hooking up a microphone like this is really, it's dirt simple. Plug and play is plug and play for the most part, for most devices. Um, okay. So yeah, it just explains the mute, uh, the mic stand, polar pattern switches in the back. So that's if you want to go omni or unidirectional, I believe. Um, otherwise it's fairly standard. It looks like. Symbol. Okay, looks like there's gonna be some symbols about omnidirectional versus cardioid. Now this is interesting. It has use scenarios. So for uh, the polar pattern omnidirectional multi-person podcast internet conference. So 
Uh, that's what I would use when I record a podcast, because generally I only bring one microphone when I travel. I'm not going to put several microphones in my in my luggage. I, I only do carry-on, and like that's just, yeah, I'm only bringing one microphone. So I would use this in omnidirectional mode when recording with other people for a podcast. And then uh, Carderoid, which is kind of unidirectional, says here, streaming, podcast, voiceover, studio recording. So that's what I would probably use for something maybe like this, uh, or if I'm doing a voiceover recording for my channel, or maybe others. I do occasionally guest do uh, voices, like, guest star on other channels uh it's been a while since i've had a good opportunity to do that with my schedule but i do actually enjoy a little bit of voice acting for fun um and yeah so it's pretty simple it just shows you you know the various settings you might want to go into if you're having trouble getting it set up but my experience with all of my microphones i just plug it in it detects it you just want to sometimes be careful to make sure you've switched to that audio in like if you're recording in audacity like i am i just double check it doesn't always switch to the best mic or the new one uh and so it's good to have, but you probably won't really need that too much. And now, let's get into this bad boy here. Let's take a look. And, of course, you've got your silica, do not eat. <laughs> That's been doing its job for at least a year while well, this was sitting on... I want to stay on a shelf, but it was in a pile. <laughs> I don't treat my microphones with as much respect as I should. However, that means that I put them through their paces, and so I can speak from an experiential standpoint and with some authority about how microphones put up with a little bit of abuse. So let's let's get that out of there to be careful. When I got my very first Surface tablet, the first thing I did uh, unboxing is I dropped it and cracked the bezel. So I've learned the hard way to be careful when taking things out of boxes in an unboxing video. Okay, so yeah, this is a lot like the Fairy Light, but it is longer and it's a little bit heavier. And so like the Fairy Light, it has these tension knobs on the side. So you can have it almost like a gimbal which I don't know that you likely need. What this is really about is adjusting the angle and then tightening the tension once you've got the angle just right. Uh, so it's not really to be used as a gimbal. It's just, that, that's just fun. That was just me playing. <laughs> uh, and so it's got the two controls on the front. So this is the, uh, the gain control here. And of course, if you press it in and out to mute and unmute, and there'll be a light in there. And then this here... Uh, there, there's no light. You can't press it. This is just the headphone gain. Uh, so that's fine. And then on the back, let me release this tension a little bit so I can uh, show you a bit more clearly. So here is the USB-C connection. Here is your headphone jack, the 3.5 millimeter. And so here are is the switch between the two different modes, omni or unidirectional. So the round symbol is for omnidirectional and then unidirectional is the where there's a little cutout. Uh, so I think for our testing purposes, I'll use unidirectional, and I'll just point the sucker right at me for that. Now, unlike, hmm, unlike the Fairy Light, it's not rubberized. It's actually kind of plastic and slippery slidy. So I'm thinking there's a protective thing on here that should probably be removed. But there's no kind of tab for it, but... Oh, yeah, there we go. And, and for those of you who enjoy removing covers from things, brand new products. I, I enjoy it. So let's just listen to that sound. I find that satisfying. <laughs> I, I don't know if that makes me mainstream or weird. Let me know in the comments. Do you enjoy removing the plastic covers from brand new products? Uh, it's something I enjoy. So this is rubberized. So yeah, now that's going to stick onto the table really solid. Um, I mean, not stick, but it grips. And so it's not like it's a sticker. It just, it has a grip. So it increases the the friction so that it doesn't move around the table uh, without your permission. <laughs> uh, so no, this this feels very well put together, feels like a, uh, a professional product. So hopefully it will sound as good as it looks and as it feels. It's got a good weight in the hand, I like that. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty good. But ultimately, you, dear viewer, you will be the decider. So you let me know in the comments. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test the, the same phrase on my blue snowball and on my Canon camcorder and on this microphone. And then you let me know in the comments which sounds best. And there is also this accessory, which I imagine is going to be the connecting cable because that's the only thing that's missing. It's pretty lightweight. Um, and I like how it says accessory on the box. I like how that's labeled. It's a little thing, but it, it that, you know, because sometimes there are boxes in there that are just to fill space or to secure things. So that it's actually letting you know, hey, look at me, I've got something inside. Like that, I actually appreciate that uh, a fair bit. Uh, it feels a little less Ikea that way, less like I'm trying to figure stuff out without all the information. So I do appreciate that. And so, yeah, this is USB-C on one end and a standard USB on the other. So I don't think this would connect very easily to a phone at all. You'd need some sort of adapter to make that work. 
Uh, so it's interesting that they mention this one for mobile. The light, they don't really, but the light is smaller and more lightweight, so that would be more portable. But again, don't, like, don't put this in your pocket. Should I try to put this in my pocket? Because this is a ridiculous notion. <laughs> I mean, seriously? Are you going to walk around like that? I mean, I guess if you didn't have the stand, you could put it in your pocket, but... <sighs> I don't know. Is that a microphone in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> My grouch show is trash, I know this. All right, so let's hook this up. I'm going to plug in the USB-C into the back. Now, it didn't go in quite as smooth as it did on the light, but still fairly easy. I uh, just had to kind of wiggle it a little bit to get that in there. Um, all right, so let's test this out. I'm going to hook this up to my Microsoft Surface Pro 7 because it has a standard USB connection, unlike my Pro 9, which only has USB-C connections. And then we're going to test out our test phrase. So let's get started first with our blue snowball microphone. And our test phrase is, subscribe to Vacation Impossible on YouTube. And now, once with the built-in microphone on my Canon camcorder, which I'm using to record the video, not so much the audio, subscribe to Vacation Impossible on YouTube. And so now I am going to switch microphones uh, to our new Fairy here. And so for a little bit, I'm going to have to switch to the audio on the Canon. It's probably going to be a little tinny. I apologize in advance. Uh, but as I'm switching microphones, I'm not going to have a microphone. <laughs> I have my Microsoft Surface Pro 7 here. And I'm now just going to connect the Fairy microphone and see what that connection process is like. But given that it is plug and play, I'm expecting it to be very simple. I do have the green light coming through on the gain dial so let's just see i don't have any pop-up notifications or anything about anything needing to be installed i'm going to go ahead and open audacity and see if it's already connected and chosen this as the primary microphone which it did with its little brother the light yes it has already switched over to the mayono fairy so let's just get that angle really good there i'll start monitoring so, I mean, to say, like, there's an install process, that's, like, unfair. You just plug it in. There's no installation to worry about. I'm just going to check the gain and try to set it so that the ambient noise is filtered out better. And so, for consistency's sake, I think I'll set it at the same gain level I did when I was testing the sound on the fairy light. That way, you can compare the fairy light to this if you're trying to decide which of the two you want to get. I'm going to test the mute, so it's green and red, and the audio goes down. So, red light means mute, green light means go. Pretty standard, red to stop, green to go. All right, I'm gonna angle the microphone right at my mouth hole. <laughs> and then I'm gonna start recording and we'll use our test phrase and see how that goes. And now the moment of truth, our test phrase. Subscribe to Vacation Impossible on YouTube. And I'm looking at the waveform here, looks pretty good, pretty rich uh, indications there that it's picking up a lot of different sounds. So um, there you have it, that was our test. Let me know in the comments what sounded best, the blue snowball, the Canon camcorder, can't imagine it did, uh, or the fairy microphone, what do you think won the test? And uh, let me know in the comments, do you have this microphone? Have you used it? Do you have any experience with it? Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on. We've got a lot of other reviews. In fact, I just reviewed this guy's little brother, the fairy light, so you can go check that out. Don't forget, we've also got a lot of videos for content creators. If you're trying to get more subscribers on YouTube, if you're trying to get more views on YouTube, if you wanna understand search engine optimization, so your content can be found whatever platform you're posting on. Check out those videos. They can be very helpful. We've also got a very important video, kind of near and dear to my heart, about motivation. It's something I struggle with every single day, and I'm sure a lot of small creators and large creators, too, struggle with as well. And so it's got some tips and strategies for how to overcome that sort of dread or ennui or just laziness or whatever it is that it might be holding you back from making your next video, editing, whatever your next step in your process is. So thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful or entertaining at all, please give it a like. And like I said, comment down below which microphone won the contest. What do you think? What would you get? What do you like to use? Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.